G'day YouTube viewers, welcome to my final episode of rocket launching at BT Rocketry. Today we are going to push two rockets to the limit, the Atlas rocket, and we are also going to be pushing the uh, Ares 4 to its limits as well. So today is July the 6th, it's currently 10 degrees. Very calm uh, weather, pretty much no, no wind at all. It's around uh, 10 30 in the morning, sun's just come out. Humidity at 75%. And uh, like I said, we're going to be pushing these two rockets uh, at 105 psi of air pressure and see if it's how much a difference will it does it make in terms of performance, uh, flight duration and flight slowdown as it's coming down, so descending. Still a bit cold, even the air cannons are a bit, a bit cold. I made sure that uh, the Atlas, all the joints are nice and uh, secure. Make sure the fins are nice and secure because it's uh, really high pressure. I've never done a 105 PSI before. I've only gone up to a 100, but never 105. Um, I'm limited with battery power. I'm not sure how much battery I will have. So it's, it's only a two launch, it's only a two rocket. Should have enough for a two rocket launches. And uh, we'll see how we go. So, let's crank it up, see if she'll survive. You probably noticed that it's more vertical now than it was before. I'll show you that in a second. We've got a bit more vertical now. I'd be worried that I might not have enough battery power for a launch, but we'll see. We'll see how we get there. Standing by guys, 105, Atlas going in 3, 2, 1, didn't like that, touchdown, didn't really like the 105 PSI, the structural issue is okay. I will relaunch it again. Hopefully I've got enough power. Like I said, in the morning, the first launch will be a little bit weird because the air cannon is a bit cold. Eighty-five. 
89, buddy. Buddy 5. Buddy 7. Buddy 8. Standing by for our second attempt. Here we go, 105 PSI Atlas in three, two, one. A little bit better. Now I gotta find it. Oh, here we go. Here we go. And touchdown. It actually landed almost where it launched, bringing Aries 4 straight away to the pad. Very hard to see in the blue background, blue sky background. Not sure if the video can capture that. There is 4, 77, 80, 85, 90, 95, 97, 98, standing by to launch Aries 4. A 105 PSI. Here we go. Three, two, one. Uh oh. My cannon just went loose. I saw it. Look at that. Oh, there we go. Here we go. And touchdown. Okay, so the cannons come off. That's how much uh, force there is. Probably should have replaced a bit. The cables a little bit stronger, but also meant I had to put a little bit bigger holes. Where did it land? Behind me? No. Maybe I'm too far this way. Didn't land that far. It landed pretty close. Ah, there you go. One fin came off during impact, what it looks like. It was a nice straight flight. But there was a fair bit of a kickback then. If there was no kickback, I reckon it could have launched a little bit more higher. Joints held on quite well, not a problem. We go grab Atlas.
Once again, no problem with the joint. Those who are new to my, new to my channel, uh, probably wondering what glue am I using? Just standard hot glue. Sometimes super glue doesn't work. And uh, just when you think that super glue, super glue does work, three, four days later, you'll see that it starts to bubble and um, could cause a few problems or issues. Uh, but hot glue seems to be working quite well throughout these months that I've been launching. I don't see any rupture, I don't see any tear at 105 PSI of pressure. Feels like he wants to, but he hasn't. Once again, strong. Fins have held on quite well. Oh man, what a surprise that was. So yeah, great day today for a launch. Cannon, a bit more vertical. That's why I had the extra hole there, so I can adjust uh, if I wanted to go a little bit on an angle or a little bit straight. This time, because it's a very calm weather and I'm shooting at very high pressure at 105 PSI, I thought I'll just go straight up and um, see how we go from there once again very good atlas first flight again when the cannon's cold it's going to perform very weird not not very good i was gonna i was planning to pressurize it a bit maybe up to 40 psi just with a hand pump and just get that in the inside of the air cannon a bit warm uh so i'm gonna head up here uh I'll just release the pressure and uh, I'll know that the inside of the cannon is nice and warm and then when I do actually launch my rockets I know they will go up first time every time uh, this time around I didn't do it um, but as you saw Atlas really high even uh, Aries 4 has done a really good job a little bit hard to see once again with the blue sky in the background it was a bit of a cloudy day like a gray gray cloud gray clouds no problem you'll see it i had to make sure that the sun was behind me um yeah i'm actually surprised uh not sure how much i can see through the mobile phone how much it's been re recorded visually because with my sunglasses, with a transition lens, uh, I couldn't see it until those last few seconds of landing. But other than that, that's it. Um, it's proven that I can go up to 105 PSI of pressure. Just, just um, if you are gonna go more than that, um, like I said, make sure your air cannon is nice and secure in place. <clears throat> maybe an extra cable or two um, just make it nice and strong that's all I can say and uh, these two rockets have proven that uh, the construction is good I'm not using paper uh, paper rockets have their limits uh, up to 95 psi and that's pretty much it like in the past I've tried at 100 and uh, they just keep blowing up uh, 85 seems to be the safest with paper air rockets, but with plastic tube uh, They seem to be doing quite well and withstanding that high pressure much much better than paper So That's all I have guys for today My two this is my last launch ever That's it. I'm packing up ready to go overseas now Uh my charger for the compressor is at my parents' house, so everything is there now. All of my rockets have been abandoned. Uh, they're all going for rubbish. These two might go for the rubbish bin as well. 
and uh, we'll see you next episode where we're going to wrap up a few things, including our today's test results and flight duration. So if you're home watching this, get your stopwatches out and time these rockets coming down. Uh, maybe I've broken another record today. I'm not sure. I'm trying to beat the 21 second. I, I believe it's a 21 second flight duration. Uh, so if you guys anything over that, could be a new world record, personal record for, for me. So till the next episode, uh, we'll see you then. So bye for now. <laughs>